a student, whether or not they're um, a student and or a student athlete goes through the same process. Um, the student athletes usually contact coaches in regards to interest levels of participation, um, what le engaging the coaches on, uh, would they be a fit for the university from an academic standpoint, an athletic standpoint. In the process, you're talking about the different clubs and organizations you've participated on. The coaches should be looking at those contacting other coaches to find out their level of play, engaging the student in regards to um, who they've competed against while they're in the recruitment process. What, what kind of influence does a coach have on the admission process? They shouldn't have uh, influence in regards to it. You say this is a student that's interested in this sport, here's their profile, um, and then admissions takes it from there. Really, it's just very simple. Admissions tells you what the next steps are. If they say the person's not admittable, you move on to somebody else. And if that person is admittable, and then you find out how much financial aid. Now, that doesn't mean the process is over. There's so many things we're going to bring the person in to meet. For, from a student athlete perspective, you have the NCAA um, that for student athletes, they have to go through the NCAA to be certified um, at the Division One and Division Two levels. So. Uh, all their educational documentation has to go through a certification process. Um, so you have that. Uh, from a university standpoint, you, student athlete or student has to sign off from an admission standpoint saying that they're providing the right documentation.